Hey guys, I got a couple of emails, some questions on how you set up your draw length for your bow or your new bow, or if you're a, a beginning archer or you want to get into hunting, a quick, easy way to set up your draw length on your bow. There's a lot of detailed videos out there, but I'm going to show you a super simplified way to find your draw length. But first, I'm going to show you how to change strings on a guitar. <coughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is an archery and hunting channel. Anyway, let's get serious. What you want to do is find yourself a bowstring or a one inch strap. Get yourself a knot on the end of it. And you're going to make a fist between your fingers and use that knot as a stopper there. Just make a fist with your other hand, real light fist. Stick the string between there. Middle finger, ring finger, it doesn't matter. Put your bow hand against the wall, like this. And then you're just gonna do your draw. Come back to a relaxed state. There's my stopping point, I'm gonna grab that. And just so you know, my draw length is 29 and a half inches and I use a three quarter inch D-loop. So I'm gonna measure this to show you guys how this works. There is one more step. You're gonna wanna find yourself a ruler Go to your bow riser, where the crease is, where you hold your bow. And you're going to measure that. It's one and a quarter inches. And then real quick, you're just going to measure the thickness of your finger. Mine is three quarters. So that's two inches. Two inches. So after you found the length of your string off the wall, okay, this, you're going to minus two inches from that. I just showed you how to measure your bow riser, measure the thickness of your finger, and that'll make up the difference for how you're holding your bow. So minus two inches. All right, so at this point, I still have my fingers on the string. I minus my two inches. I'm gonna measure it from the knot to that point. And you can see it. 28 and three quarters plus my three quarter inch D loop it's 29 and a half. So that's the draw length that I'm going to start out with. I'm going to simplify this just a little bit more. I'm going to make two fists. No, just kidding. One thing you have to remember when you're doing this, is when you make your fists and you draw your bow, you want to come back to a relaxed state. Okay? Your anchor point. And you don't want to overextend your front arm. You want a slight bend in your arm. Remember, a relaxed state, okay? So you come to draw, and you're in a relaxed state. Don't bring your shoulder up. Just keep it relaxed right here. When you push and pull to draw your bow, you want to be in a relaxed state. Don't forget to have your giant mug of coffee. And also remember, if you set up your draw length this way, when you start getting comfortable, you put your D-loop on and you start shooting your bow. Some of you are probably wondering, well, what if I'm using a thumb release? Or what if I'm using an index release? Well, index release, you can usually adjust. A lot of thumb releases, you can't adjust the length. So you just have to adjust your D-loop. Little minute adjustments on your D-loop. And you'll be able to fine tune it to your body. Let's get into that real quick. And what you're gonna notice when you draw your bow, come back to your relaxed state and just touch your nose to the string, just lightly. There shouldn't be a whole lot of movement there. So it's real important when you're at full draw, you don't want to have to tilt your head in. You don't want to have to pull your head back. You don't want to have to Move your upper body or your head. You just want to tuck your nose real slightly into the string. There shouldn't be a whole lot of movement there. When you have your draw length set just right, the tip of your nose will naturally come to that string. That's when you know your draw length's right. A real simplified way to set up your draw length, if you don't have all the equipment at home to do it, or if you don't want to go to a bow shop, this is a real easy way to do it. Like I said, there's a lot of detailed videos out there on how to set up your draw length, but I just wanted to simplify it a little bit. 
Catch you guys later.